Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we are actually talking about Google because Google employees have apparently been misusing your data. Here's what's going on. I kind of told you so, been saying this for quite some time. This is coming from Motherboard by Vice News. Now, apparently Google fired dozens of employees between 2018 and 2020 for abusing their access to, and I quote, the company's tools or data with some workers potentially facing allegations of accessing Google user or employee data according to an internal Google document obtained by Vice. Now, the document apparently provides concrete figures on an often delicate part of the tech giant's operations, which is investigations into how their company's own employees leverage their positions to steal, leak, or abuse data that they have access to. Now, insider abuse obviously is a problem all across the tech industry. Uh, Google is not the only one that is uh, basically has this issue by any stretch, but Motherboard by Vice previously uncovered instances of this same thing at Facebook, Snapchat, and MySpace, all two of their employees that are left, with employees, in some cases, using their access to stalk or otherwise spy on users, and I will get to that uh, basically pretty soon. Now, this document that they obtained says that Google terminated 36 employees in 2020 for security-related issues. 86% of all security-related allegations against employees included mishandling of confidential information, such as the transfer of internal-only uh, internal information to third parties, meaning outside of Google. 10% of these allegations in 2020 concerned the misuse of systems, which can include accessing user or employee data in violation of Google's own policies, helping others to access that data, or modifying or deleting user or employee data. And again, this is according to the document that Vice got. In 2019, that figure was 13% of all security allegations, down 3% for 2020. Now, According to Vice, Google terminated 26 people in 2019 and 18 in 2018, uh, basically related to security incidents of similar ilk, according to basically the informant or the uh, person that whistle blew on this to Vice. Now, Motherboard, and I quote, granted the person anonymity to speak more candidly about Google issues. The document says that other measures Google can take with employees that mishandle data can include warnings, training, and coaching. Now, a Google spokesperson and talking to Motherboard by Vice in a statement, and I quote at length, the instances referred to mostly relate to inappropriate access to or misuse of proprietary and sensitive corporate information or IP or intellectual property. Regarding user data, we tightly restrict employee access through a number of industry-leading safeguards, including limiting access to user data to necessary individuals, requiring a justification to access such data, multi-stage review before access is granted to sensitive data, and monitoring monitoring for access anomalies and violations. The number of violations which, whether deliberate or inadvertent, are consistently low. Every employee gets training annually. We investigate all allegations and violations result in corrective action up to and including termination. We are transparent in publicizing the number and outcome of our investigations to our employees and have strict processes in place to secure customer and user data from any internal or external threats. So here we are. I think Google is obviously trying to downplay that because uh, basically the Wall Street Journal broke, uh, I want to say two years ago or so, that Google employees and third party employees, and basically third parties uh, like developers were given unredacted access to your Gmail accounts and all this kind of stuff, not to mention the data mining, uh, you know, to basically be put into facial recognition, uh, you know, databases, not to mention if you're uploading documents, they can scan these things. This has all been reported on before, uh, you know, by tier one news sources and all of that and something that I have used consistently when I'm on stage or talking about just how deep and intimate Google employees have access to these things I will quote Vice because this is something that I have been talking about for quite some time and it didn't stop in 2010 at all and I and basically what Vice just reported proves that but I quote Vice directly on something I have been talking about for quite some time that terrifies me about giving anything to Google and once again I quote in 2010, Google fired engineer David Barksdale for leveraging his position as a member of the technical group to access the accounts of four minors, 
Gawker reported at the time. Barksdale accessed a 15-year-old boy's Google Voice call logs as well as contact lists and chat transcripts and unblocked himself from a teen who had cut communications with him, the report added. And there's actually more than that. Uh, you know, outside of the Vice reporting, Barksdale was tried and convicted. He was 27 years old at the time, if I recall. So this is obviously a very huge problem that we have, but it really underscores the fact that if it's free to you, you are the product in this modern day and age in the latest technology. Every time you search, every time you use Gmail, every time you use Google Cloud and upload anything, understand it's free to you. So they are scanning it, using it, doing whatever they can. Their employees have access basically into the back end of Google. And while they say they have these controls and they, they quote unquote train annually, which is way too long for training. If you ask any cybersecurity expert worth their ilk, I re highly recommend monthly micro trainings, quarterly trainings, annual trainings. You've got to reinforce security controls. That obviously is a huge, huge problem. Now, Obviously, Google firing, you know, let's say between 15 to 30 people is a drop in the bucket for their tens of thousands of employees. But what it underscores the, 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 the point here is that Google employees have very deep access, not just into Google's tools and technologies, which you expect the, the employees to have, but they have deep access into your information. And if I am basically consulting with or talking with a corporation about uh, cloud platforms that they should use, one of those things that I mentioned is that your data should be in an encrypted container, not accessible to the hosting company that you have, meaning they can support the infrastructure around you, but they can't actually read your documents or any data or anything that you're putting in there. And here we are. So this is obviously a very serious problem. This is coming to light. This should be probably, hopefully, no surprise to any of you if you've been watching or following, uh, you know, here we are. But if you are brand new to this, and this is the first you're hearing about this, and are shocked that Google is doing this, all I can say is, welcome to the fight. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please, if anything, stay private. Thanks, everyone.